Cancers, this is going to be a general tarot reading for you. Thank you so much for joining me. With it being general, only take the messages that do apply and let the rest fly. If you do have to question any of the messages, it may be for someone else watching it and I just don't want to cause any confusion. Now, if you do need a personal, just check out the description. Uh, the information to book a session with me specifically will be listed there. And make sure you guys subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I do appreciate you being here. And let's go ahead and see what's popping. So first card with the nine of voices or the nine of swords in reverse. Let me show it to you. Some of you are either coming out of a space of just being super consumed by your anxiety or your fears, or some of you are overly still in that space of stressing out, allowing anxiety to over consume you. And this could be affecting your sleep schedule. This could be affecting your thought process and the way that you may move, what you give energy to. For some of you, this could even be causing you to like procrastinate on certain things, especially if this is anxiety has anything to do with like career or anything like that. Hmm. Um, you guys could also be realizing that again, someone is really just not worth the amount of stress that they may be putting you through. And in that same breath, you just still may not be listening to your inner intuition with this card being clarified with the high priestess in reverse um, in regards to that particular individual. It, it may be hard because this may be somebody who you have children with or a long term connection with and things just may be difficult to sort out. But just right off the bat, the subconscious mind is what's affecting you during this time frame. When I say subconscious, this is the part of yourself or a part of your thinking process that you don't see. Um, this is below the surface and this is what's controlling your movements. Now, some of you are really waiting for someone to get their fair share of karma for the things that they put you through. Um, this is like a, I guess, message from spirit. They will get their fair share of karma, but if you keep putting yourself in the crossfire of this individual, you will also get karma. So if someone has wronged you, like constantly cheated on you, constantly done some really disgusting things to you, if you keep getting back with them, you keep delaying their opportunity to get karma or they will receive their karma, but you will also kind of play a part within that karma. So I don't know who needed to hear that, but there you go. Hmm. A lot of you are really starting to develop your spiritual gifts. So you could be someone who is like clairvoyant or clairaudient, or you have some sort of spiritual gift that you could be either denying yourself to explore or you're like very scared of it. <laughs> it may not make any sense to you as to why you may have the spiritual gift or why Like sometimes you may get like some really interesting messages or downloads from your spirit guides and it may like freak you out or have like severe or let me not use the word severe. You may have like repeated deja vu because you may dream things before it happens. Ooh, some of you may meet someone new and they may have you like in this trance state because of how captivating like their eye color may be or something with their energy may be really drag or dragging. Why am I using these words that I don't want to use? You may be in this trance state and it may be, like I said, something with their eye color, the way they communicate, the way they think, and they intrigue you so much. Like you're just so captivated by them and it may get really intense on like this first meeting with this individual. Seriously. Some of you are like allowing guilt to control your actions. So when I say this, this could be you feeling guilty for knowing that you should have left a relationship sooner and then like beating yourself up for it. And then now like distrusting your judgment and keeping yourself from like experiencing new love. 
or feeling guilty for not taking action or procrastinating on something in the past and feeling like now you're in like a a bad position or something that you wanted to make a reality may be out of far reach. Someone's very mysterious. Something about them is is mysterious. You could be also feeling like, and this is from people who are in like a committed relationship and you've been in this relationship, you could be sensing that your person's keeping some sort of secrets. And a lot of you know this person like the back of your hand. So you know when this person is moving weird or when there's something fishy going on with them. If you guys are traveling, um, what I will say is make sure with your baggage that you guys don't keep anything like super valuable within like a, a bag, like in bags. Because what I'm seeing is like some of you may travel and then you may lose like a bag and it may have something really important in it and you may be like really pissed about it. So that's a heads up if you are going to be traveling during this time frame. Hmm. Very vivid dreams coming through. Very vivid dreams. Like I said, severe deja vu is going to be coming through. Um, I also see stuff here about like your daily rituals or like your daily tasks. You guys are needing to have more of a, um, a set schedule. And okay, for a lot of you, you could be feeling like your life is like all over the place. And it's only because you may not have like a set schedule in place or a set ritual in place, like the time you go to sleep, um, you know, the free time that you use to kind of cater to yourself. Some of you, it's like you don't really have a, a real schedule in place and things are just like go with the moment. Like every day is just go with the moment. I'll go about my day and see how things lay out. For a lot of you, you need more organization or again, a schedule, especially if you work from home. Some of you may be wanting to work at a job where you can really show your skills. So like if you're good at doing hair, you may want to actually go ahead and go to cosmetology school to be a, a hairstylist. If you're good at um, fixing cars, you could be thinking, OK, well, maybe I'll go to school for a trade instead of something that's like a degree or something where you, you know, may not be guaranteed to make money. But for a lot of you, yeah, you maybe want to go to school for like a trade. Okay, I'm going to stop right here because I can go on forever. I see a lot of stuff in these cards. I hope that you were able to take something from this reading. If you did, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. Of course, any information you may be looking for will be listed below. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.